Can we call it Winter 3K? Okay. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. So today we are going to make a squishy, right? Or it could be a call a stress ball or whatever that you want to call it, right? But uh, you made this last year. Last year? Well, that was just like. Well, this year. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My name is Jason. We got here. Olivia. And here. Ella. 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 Yeah. I still know how to make it though. You know how to make it? Yeah. Awesome. Did you hear that? She says it's tricky to make it, but it's not that tricky, right? So we're gonna make it today. So uh, that kind of means that it's hard, but not hard, and you don't know what to say. Right. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna break this down, okay? All we need today is some plain Jane flour. Any flour will do, whatever the cheapest kind you is, because uh, we're gonna try to make it as cost effective as possible, right? We need a measuring cup, balloon. Get a balloon, yes, that is key, a funnel, and an empty plastic bottle. And make sure that this is dry, because we're going to be working with some dry flour, and, and we don't want any water on it. The chopstick! Ah, almost forgot. And we need the chopstick, okay? And the chopstick, is, all it is, is to help the flour get into the bottle. Alright? Make sense? Everyone ready to go? Yeah! Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Silly kids. Okay. We are going to first start by taking some flour and we're going to scoop it up. Ready to scoop? Go ahead, scoop it. Nice big cup. Okay. Okay, we're going to take the flour and dump it into the funnel. Now, make sure you have an adult here because it's just flour, but it does make quite a mess. Take the funnel, put it on the bottle, and what we're going to do is we're going to just use a chopstick to kind of wiggle it around so that the flour gets into the bottle. Otherwise, it just sort of sits there. Okay? All and if in. it doesn't, if it doesn't go down the bottle, then you will just end up getting a problem with no air. Right. Just like this. Okay, so now there is no specific amount of flour that you can need to put in here. So it's really up to you how much you want to put, how big you want the stress ball to be, or the squishy to be. Um, I usually use about a cup, because I feel that that's probably And it's your decision of making the balloon you want. <laughs> yeah. Now, the balloon, like she, I, uh, Olivia said there, it can be any kind of balloon, really. Um, all it just has to be is a dry balloon. We don't want it really wet, but again, any balloon works fine. So I just get some flour in there. Do we have enough flour, girls? No. Um, no. Should we add a little bit more flour? Got a little okay. bit more flour. Here. Just a little bit more. Again, there's really no measurement to this. Take whatever amount you think is proper, oh. and then just get it in there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah. All right, I think we got it all, girls. What do you think? Good. Good. Okay. It As you can see, our bottle of flour is filled up here. The next step is we're gonna put this cup down. Olivia, can you blow up the balloon for Daddy? Okay. So go ahead, blow it. So just take the balloon, oh, blow I it up to a decent size. <laughs> Did you say excuse me? Excuse me. That's better. Good. Okay, and we're going to pin it so that the air doesn't come out. And what we're going to do is get some helping hands here and hold the bottle, okay? Make sure that the no air comes out. And wrap the bottle up with the balloon here so that it's all covered. Yeah, okay. make sure you don't break the bottle. Yeah, don't break the bottle, don't break the balloon. And we're going to go... And we're going to shake, 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 Bottom. Ayla, are you helping us drum? <laughs> drum. Shake, 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 shake. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, I think oh. we're all out. All out? Yeah. Okay. So I squeeze so. it. Take the bottle yeah. off. Okay. This Let part. Let some come out. This is part is the part you want to be careful, okay? We're gonna let the air out, okay? But we're gonna let it out slowly because when it gets too close to the flour, if the air comes out too fast, you're gonna get a bit of an eruption of flour and that makes a huge mess, okay? And it makes a volcano like your house is full of flour? Yeah, all over oh, the place. Fire. And guess who cleans up? Right here. Okay, so we're gonna take the balloon, we're gonna let the air out slowly. See the flower? She all goes little dogs. Okay. And once we get near the end here, we're going 
to control it. And so, oh, oh, see? Oh. Oh. Okay, so now we're going to tie up the balloon. Again, it's up to you how big you want this thing and how much air you want to let up. I'm going to do this. Now we're going to draw a snowflake. <laughs> we're going to draw a snowflake. We're going to draw a snowflake? Mm -hmm. okay. Now we have a squishy. Look at this. Really simple, really quick and fun to do with the kids. Um, and very cost effective. All right. Well, I hope you guys about, enjoyed it. Um, you forgot about um, we're gonna color a snowflake. We're gonna color. We're gonna draw on this thing to make a little snowflake on it. But you can do whatever you want with it. All right. We can draw a cow. A cow. Or a snowflake. Or a snowflake. You okay. can do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. Like a birdie <laughs> or an owl. Yeah. Or a pumpkin. No. Okay, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it was informative somehow. Uh, we'll be back next time with some <laughs> We'll be back next time with some more crafts. So until then, I'm Jason. I'm Olivia. Ella. Ella. And we'll be back next time. So take care. A snowflake! A snowflake! Alright, see you guys. Next time.